Personas are uh, examples of people, are segments, and it's based on real data. It's based on real behavior. Different than profiles, which are often made up, they're fictitious, they're based on characteristics, but they don't relate to a, a, sp a specific kind of person. A persona really is the collection or the aggregation of different kinds of people who are, you can observe their behavior. And so why that's important for a salesperson is to understand the kind of person that you're selling to. And so you can create uh, the different types of people that you might run into. So for example, you might have someone who wants all the details. And so if your presentation doesn't have details in it in terms of what the benefit and uh, the, the advantages of your solution are gonna be, that's gonna create problems for them. Uh, if you have someone who's a driver, they want the bottom line result, what am I gonna get? They want the big picture and you start with details with the person who wants the big picture, they're gonna get frustrated too. And so starting with the big picture, here's, here's what you're gonna get from this. Here's the thing that you're gonna be able to say to someone the next time you're at a, a gathering. Uh, and oh, by the way, here's how the product works and here are the features and benefits of it. So that's how you would work with that kind of persona. You have some people who wanna build a relationship over time. And so they, it takes time to build trust with them. So it's about the trust building process with them. And there are other people who want to collaborate in a more community oriented and so they want to be able to give a project to help their team uh, demonstrate uh, the value that they bring together when they collaborate and so knowing that kind of leader is important so if you understand all those different kinds of leaders then you can start to tailor your pitch in a way that's going to hit the right notes uh, and, and making sure that you can do those things, and that just requires a, a little bit of research to figure out the answer to those, those questions. But understanding the persona of the person that you're selling to is, is extremely important, but will result in, I think, uh, a great deal of success. The one thing I would add around personas is thinking sometimes beyond your target, thinking beyond their industry, but thinking about something you can draw an analog to that's unexpected. So that's gonna give you insights that you typically wouldn't get. So if you know you've got uh, a CEO who, for example, that you're trying to pitch is um, into running multiple companies at the same time. Well, studying Elon Musk might be helpful, for example, uh, given that he runs SpaceX as well as Tesla. So you know, what are the things that he does to be successful? Because people wanna be successful. And so the more examples you have of other successful people that transcend industry, that could come from sports, it could come from music, it could come from a lot of different places. But being able to draw analogies across all those different areas will be helpful in getting your thinking to a different level uh, when you're trying to influence someone. What are the different ways that we can influence somebody? And so I think you could start to draw all kinds of analogies from different places uh, so don't just uh, do the traditional, don't just do the expected, but do the things that are unexpected because ultimately when you're selling something, you're trying to interrupt somebody. So coming up with something that feels different is helpful because that's interruptive and the more interruptive you can be, the more attention you're gonna draw. And so that's something that I would also think about is all the different things that we can research and learn that are gonna make us come across as, wow, I haven't heard that before. That's, that's the kind of answer you want when you're talking to somebody, trying to open the door or, or close an opportunity. Uh, so those are the things to be thinking about.